Well, good afternoon and welcome to WCRI's 37th Annual Issues and Research Conference. My name is Steve Perutz and I proudly serve as chair of the WCRI Board of Directors. I'm also the Vice President for Global Claims for Marriott International. I couldn't be more excited about this agenda, which will, among other things, help us better understand the impact of this COVID-19 while also sharing WCRI's latest research findings. I think I speak for myself, but many others when I say that this has been one of the most challenging years of our lives, uh, both professionally and personally. These are not easy times, but thankfully I think there's light at the end of the tunnel as more of our fellow Americans receive one of the many vaccines that are out there. During these difficult times, while we may focus on things that are going wrong, let's not forget to look for the good and heroic work that's being done as Fred Rogers, if anyone remembers Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, uh, once said, uh, when I was a boy, I would see scary things in the news and my mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. There are nurses and doctors fighting to save lives, scientists uh, searching and developing for vaccines, grocery store and delivery workers supplying needed uh, supplies and food and all the many frontline workers. There is no shortage of helpers out there if you look for them. And that should be inspiring. And I know it does inspire me. Though our WCRI team are not frontline workers, uh, their researchers have been helpers in their own way, helping us understand what's happening out there in the workers' compensation arena. Since the beginning of the pandemic, our team has held webinars, educated, media and policymakers and published research to help us better understand the impact of the virus on the systems uh, and workers' compensation for the states. In these challenging times with so many unknowns, researchers at WCRI is needed more now more than ever uh, to understand the short and long-term impact of COVID-19. WCRI is gonna deliver, they always have and they always will with sound research, credible data, and analysis that contribute to an informed debate. And as you know, they don't take positions or make policy recommendations, which is extremely important. Your virtual presence here today shows that you value this and you get it. And you're not alone. I'm happy to report that attendance is the highest it's ever been for a WCRI conference. I, I know like me, you probably yearn for the days when we can return to an in-person conference, but I'm happy that having a virtual conference has allowed more of you to attend, especially those who may be new to WCRI. You should know that the WCRI uh, research does not happen without everyone's support. If we want an independent assessment of how state workers' compensation systems are functioning across a range of metrics and otherwise, we need WCRI. For the members out there, we thank you. We know you get it. You understand the great value WCRI brings. For those that are not members, there's no time like the present to join. Before I introduce Dr. Rooser, I want to announce that this is my last event as chairman of the WCRI board, and it has been a true honor and privilege serving this distinguished organization. As is usually the case, the best part of this has been working with the people, including the great WCRI team, uh, my fellow board members, and especially you, our valued M that, uh, WCRI members. Thanks to you and all of you who make this the wonderful organization it is. I leave you in excellent hands with my successor, Russ Pass, and I know he will help lead WCRI to the next level of excellence. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce WCRI's president and CEO, Dr. John Rooser, who will tell us about this great agenda his team has put together over the next two days. This has been a difficult time for all organizations, including WCRI, and I'm proud of John, Ramona, and their team for converting to a remote operation without missing a beat and continuing their important work that we all depend on. So please join me in putting your hands together for John and his team for this event. And thank you. And John, it's up to you. Thank you, Steve, for all your kind words, for all your hard work and dedication in leading our board. Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is John Rooster, and I am CEO of WCRI. We could not be more excited to have you join us. We've had two goals that have guided us in putting together the agenda for this conference. First, we want to focus on the issues that we think are on everyone's minds. 
Second, we want to showcase our latest research. With that said, let me briefly share with you what we will be talking about today. Our first keynote speaker of the conference is Dr. Katherine Abraham. She is currently a professor of economics at the University of Maryland and former commissioner of the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. Dr. Abraham will be speaking about the economic impact of COVID-19. I've had the privilege of working for Dr. Abraham and I know that no one has a deeper understanding of the, and the function of the functioning of the US labor market than she does. After Dr. Abraham, we will showcase WCRI research in two sessions. Dr. Venela Thumala and Dr. Bogdan Savage will focus on two separate pharmacy related studies, specifically off label prescribing and the effects of opioid related policies. After them, Dr. Alessia Fomenko will talk about the impact of COVID-19 and the shutdown on claims composition and on the delivery of medical care and workers' compensation. We will end our day with a panel discussion on responding to and moving beyond COVID-19. We have four esteemed panelists who will share their varied perspectives. They're James Ashley, Director of the Industrial Commission of Arizona, Stephanie Bloomingdale, President of the Wisconsin AFL-CIO, Dr. Catherine Miller, former medical director for the Division of Workers' Compensation in Colorado, and Libby Christman, VP of Risk Management and Safety at AHOLD. You can see we have a very distinguished panel for that session. In the interest of time, I will not preview the second day's agenda until tomorrow. So we've all been on Zoom calls and Zoom meetings, and so we understand how unpredictable technology can be. As a result, we've recorded many of the presentations for this conference in advance. However, we will be conducting live Q&A, so we encourage you to pose your questions to the presenters. For each session, you will also find a feedback form in the Whova app. Please let us know what you think of the sessions that we have put together for you. I also want to invite you to visit our exhibitors. Many of them have raffles going on, so check them out. You might want to might be able to win an Apple AirPods, an Amazon gift card, or another gift. As an added incentive, we will be making a donation to Kids Chance based upon the total number of visits our exhibitors receive. So please visit our exhibitors and in the process, help a great organization that provides educational opportunities to the children whose parents were seriously injured or died on the job. With that, I hope you have a great conference and please do not hesitate to contact us during the event if you have any problems. So let's go to the conference. Thank you.